Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to part 3 of our Windows Server series. In this video, I will walk you through configuring a DNS server on Windows Server 2022. DNS, DNS or domain name system, is essential for translating easy to remember domain names into IP addresses, allowing users to find and connect to websites and services quickly. So let me explain what is DNS server or how it works. Uh, imagine DNS like a phone book for the internet. When you type a website's name like google.com, your computer doesn't know where that is. It needs the exact address like a phone number to find it. DNS works by translating that easy to remember name into an IP address, which is the website phone number which is like the website phone number. Once your computer gets the IP address, it can connect to the right server to load the website. It's all about making the internet easier to navigate without memorizing long strings of numbers. So by the end of this video, you will have your DNS server set up and ready to manage your network name resolution efficiently. Let's dive in. So if we click on local server here you can see that our server now is connected to this domain and on our uh, under our servers you can see we have two rows install adds and dns now I'll click on dns here <clears throat> if you have multiple servers here you can right click on the server on which you want to configure your dns here I have one, just right click on it and click on DNS manager to open the configuration console. Here I have our server here to right click on it and zone here. We already have this zone but let us delete it and create it from scratch. And I'll show you how we can set up this. No, oh, sorry. And yeah. Uh, so we deleted the zone so <clears throat> we have our server here if you look up zone we have nothing so this is our server let me go back here right click on our server name here and click on new zone so we're going to create a full lookup zone and a reverse lookup zone and also create the point I, I will tell you what is forward lookup zone what is reverse lookup zone and also what is a point so click on next here for the first time we want to create uh, a forward lookup zone click on next choose primary zone here click on next choose install choose to all dns server running on domain controllers in this domain click on next and here let us see the difference between the forward lookup zone and the reverse lookup zone here it states that a forward lookup zone translates DNS names into IP addresses and provide information about available network services. So that is what I was telling you at the beginning. So with the forward zone, if you type, for example, your domain name, which is next, uh, next tech IQ it will reserve to the corresponding address, which is for example, for, which is our server address here, which is uh, 10.0.2.15 so it's gonna be the same thing for you <clears throat> here the reverse recap zone it's a reverse recap zone translate IP address into DNS names so for example if we, we query uh, our IP address which is 10.0.2.15 we will see the name of our server so we're gonna verify all of those things at the end of this video if everything is set up um, just click on next and here your domain name this is your root domain this is the domain that you use when you are installing your ADDS for me it nest tech IQ for you it can be different and here allow only secure dynamic updates click on next and then finish if you go on to that is your Forward lookup domain that you created here, well, zone that you created here. Let us do the same thing for our reverse lookup zone here. 
click uh, right click on your server name and click on new zone and the wizard follow primary zone same thing and here it's gonna be reverse recap zone click on next and it's gonna be IP version 4 reverse recap zone click on next and here your net ID is dot 10 dot 0 dot 2 this is the part of your of our network address space which doesn't change so we have the host part of the net ID of your IP address here the ta the 10.0.2 doesn't change so this is the our net ID it can be different based on your network space uh, in case of your subnets or in your environment make sure that you understand it and choose the right network ID for your DNS app click on next and also allow only secure dynamic updates select it and click next and finish here on the reverse recap zone if you click here we have our reverse recap zone we need a pointers here why pointers let me let me explain something in dns pointers or ptr records play a key word in reverse lookup so ptr or pointer records are stored in the special reverse dns zones and they map ip address to domain names so when you perform a reverse lookup, the DNS server check the PTR record for that IP address to retrieve the corresponding domain name. So that is why it's important to define here a pointer. So to, to, to create a first pointer, just right click on it uh, right here, sorry. Right click on it and then click new pointer here. And the IP address of your host here is our server is 10.0.2.15. Our server name here, our server name, the name you define when you're setting up. This is uh, our first video on our Windows Server series. Make sure you write this and click on. Okay, now you have your pointers here. And before verifying everything. Let's do something here. If you go on the internet connection here, you see that you know you no longer have internet connection. Let us change this here. Click on network and internet settings, and uh, you have the settings here. Click on Ethernet and click on change adapter option. So now on adapter option. Right click on it and click on properties. And here select Internet Protocol version 4. And you see that the, D the preferred DNS server is your local host, which um, doesn't allow you to access Internet connection. Now let us change this to our server IP, which is uh, our DNS server IP here, which is 10.0.2.15. And click on OK. OK again. And here, let us disable and enable again. So now you can see that you have internet connection just wait in identifying. If, uh, yep, it's connected to your domain here. If we click here, you can see that you now have internet connection and it's connected to your domain. So let us check. Uh, verify all the configuration that we set up just type on the search bar here type cmd to open your command prompt let us query our domain using the ns lookup command it's used to query dns server lookup uh, ns lookup let us do first for our ip address that zero the the 15 if you hit enter you can see that we have our server name here we have our server name here and the IP address so let us do the NS com NS lookup command for our server name server here is server dash 
zero one if we hit enter you can see that we already have the same result so it's reserving from the ip to the domain name and from the domain name to the ip so that is what i want to show you this is the part three of our windows server you learn how to set up a windows server create a forward lookup domain a reverse lookup domain and create players be proud of yourself and try this on your own try to set up a home lab and follow along thank you for watching see you on the next video